All right, let's do a couple problems on this worksheet. Um, double line graph. Graph it as well as turn in a picture of the math and the graphs. The graph is mostly qualitative, so look, I'm going to show you what I mean. Let's read this first problem. A car travels at a velocity of 6 meters per second. First of all, before we get started, here's our formula. XF equals VT plus XI. And you need to understand that this formula is really y is equal to mx plus b. m is the slope of the line, and velocity is the slope of the line on a distance over time graph. The initial distance is also the y-intercept. So here we go. We're going to do a formula for the first car, and then we're going to do a formula for the second car, and then we're going to set them equal to each other and solve for t. All right, here we go. Let's try it. A car travels at a velocity of 6 meters per second. So 6 is the v for that car. And is already 12 meters down the track. Ooh, it's already 12 meters initial distance. So the first car is going to be 6t plus 12. Now, the other car... It's traveling at 9 meters per second, so its velocity is 9 for a certain amount of time. And it began from the starting line, so there is no initial distance. So if xf is equal to 9t, xf is equal to 6t plus 12, when these cars catch each other, they'll have the same xf. So we can very simply say 6t plus 12 equals 9t. And let me do some Algebra 1. 9t minus 6t. 3t is equal to 12. Very simply. This is going to take 4 seconds. Let's find out how far down the track either of the cars would be. Now, if we put 4 seconds for t here, or if we put 4 seconds for t here, you're going to get the same answer either way. So we're going to slap this 4 seconds into our faster car. XF equals 9 times 4 seconds. 36 meters down the track. Okay. Now, what does a qualitative graph of this look like? Here's a qualitative graph of number 1. You would say, okay, one car is going at a certain speed but it's already started 12 meters down the track. See, this is our distance on the X. And the other car is going faster, but it starts at the starting line. So here is your qualitative graph for number one. Let's try number two real quick. Number two. A slow car with a head start of five seconds. Ooh, it's got a five second head start. So for that car, it's time. We're looking at XF equals VT plus XI. Don't worry about that bell, people. It's time is going to be V times T plus five plus XI. See, it's got an extra five seconds. Does that make sense? The other car just starts at t equals 0 and goes 31 meters per second. So for it, xf is equal to vt plus xi. Well, none of this part's even in the equation. xf is equal to, its velocity is 31, 31 t. So let's write now, what was the velocity of the slow car? 17. So what are we going to do with this equation for the slow car? Its velocity is equal to 17 times t plus 5. Now look, you have to distribute the t plus 5 out. Plus it doesn't have a head start, so there's nothing else. 17t plus 85. Let's set it equal to the other equation, 31t. That's going to take us down to... 24t, excuse me, 14t equals 85. 
that's going to be almost exactly six seconds, right? Something almost exactly six seconds. And then if we wanted to find out how far down the track this collision occurred, just put six seconds into there, 31 times six, 186 meters down the track. Okay, now I know I'm going quickly, but you've got a couple other ones you can practice after this. What would this look like on a graph? Well, the other one has a head start of five seconds. And at t equals zero, at t equals zero, the next car starts. So if we call that t equals zero, then the other car had to start back here five seconds earlier. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? This is the slower car. And if we're going to say t equals zero, we've got to say the faster car started right here. And there's your graph. Sounds good. Good luck with the next couple problems.